Hi there, Dead Ideal Boy here, back with another video, and in this one we're going to share with you five top tips to become faster at Gran Turismo in just five minutes. So tip number one, you need to get the assists off. Traction control, get it off. Driving lane assistance, braking indicator, braking area, active stability management, counter steer assistance, get them all off. They are slowing you down, they are bogging you down, they are a crutch and they are costing you anything between a second to two seconds and upwards a lap. Now, if you can persevere, it will be painful at the beginning, but if you can persevere and get all these assists off, then you will find time. You will find a lot of time. I didn't like it at first. I didn't think I was going to be able to drive the car at first, but trust me, after a few hours, you start to get the feel. You start to understand how the car handles, you start to get more confident on the brakes and the acceleration and you will find a lot of time. All the fastest drivers in the world are using no assists and it is the way forward. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, qualification. Now you need to understand how important qualifying times are in daily races in sport mode. Now, if you don't put some level of importance on this you will suffer badly you will be mid to back of the pack and you will be in the chaos that ensues there you want to be the front of the grid if you want to rank up and you want to do it fast so you want to get onto that qualifying leaderboard you want to check to see what the fastest cars are in this case the supra is the leading time you know don't spend too long on it to the point where you can't race but give yourself 30 minutes, an hour, two hours maximum, but just qualify, get a nice time, get a time you're comfortable with that suits your race pace, and then get out there on track, and hopefully you'll find that that has put you near the front of the grid, and well, once you're near the front of the grid, it's all about consistency from that point onwards, and you can then avoid a lot of the carnage that's happening behind you, and that will help you rank up a lot more quickly. Tip number four, practice. It sounds obvious, but spend time practicing on the game. It doesn't really matter what method of it is, but as long as you're spending time on track, getting familiar with tracks, with cars, with the inputs, braking, accelerating, just any time you can spend on track, do it. If it means catching you know, a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute window of opportunity that you might have in your otherwise busy life, if you can get on the game and get round the track, just putting in any minutes, hours you can, it will all help you because the best players in the world, the fastest drivers in the world, are spending a lot of time on this game. Now, like me, if you're like me, sorry, and you have a busy life, then, you know, find the times when you can, but get on that track and just try and put in as much time as you can and it will benefit you in the end. Tip number three, use the ghosts of the fastest lap times in the world. Now, these guys have set the fastest lap times. Their videos and laps are available readily for us to use, inspect and study. So make use of it. Look at what they're doing at certain bits of the track. See if you can pick up little hints and tips. For instance, this track here, Bathurst, in the Supra, a notoriously difficult car to drive, but if you look at this little sector here of the track, coming up the hill, third gear, early shift up to fourth, now we're all the way down to the first gear here, and then this little double shift up the third gear, that improves the traction going up the hill there, stops the rear end spinning out, and gains you a lot of time. And the fifth and final tip is race. Now, I'm speaking from experience, I came in, as I said, as a complete newcomer to the game and managed to study, you know, the methods that were being used by quicker drivers and quickly managed to get myself all the way up to the A-plus rating and maintain that ranking. Importantly, there's no point yo-yoing up and down. You want to try and maintain it to a certain degree. So you need to be quite committed to it. But if you are and you put those five tips into practice, then I can assure you, you will rank up, you will get quicker at the game, you'll become a faster, better, more confident and consistent driver. Hopefully you found this interesting, hopefully you have. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.
Goodbye.